So what was the activity that you did? So let's say, we titled this discussion as Information Exchange Right. So what was the step one? Data collection, okay, yes. Or in other words, getting the data, get data right. You got the data from somewhere right. Data collection okay. So, and where did you get the data from? What can we call that thing open source? Open okay, source right. Can we call that a data source? The source of data right. Can we call that a? I mean you get the data from where? From a data source right. Agreed. Right, so we got the data from a data source. Then what did you do? Formatting. Then what did you do? Formatting right. Or transformation. So you will say formatting as per the recipients. Recipient requirements right. Recipients, requirements, formatting, and we can also call it as transformation right. We transform the data. Isn't it? We transform the data into the format that is expected by the recipient. And then, what did we do? Step 3. Send the data. Data transfer. Send the data right. Send the data or data transfer. Data transfer right. Via what? Using what? Using what? Using a protocol right. Using a protocol. Now let's elaborate on this. Let's say, somebody mentioned that we will send it to you via email, right? So if that is the protocol that we have agreed upon, that yeah, you're going to send the data to me using email. Okay. So now, what would you need to complete that transaction? To send the data to me actually over email. What would you need? I should have some email ID and I should have internet connection as well. Perfect. So you would need an email address where you can send the information and, of course, internet connection. If we agreed on WhatsApp, would you need my email address? No. What would you need? That application number. Application of course. You need to have that application on your phone, on your I don't know, maybe on your desktop, some other computing device, and you need the recipient's phone number right. If I tell you that, okay, it has to be a shared drive, then would you need the phone number or the email address? No. You need maybe the link and user ID and password, right? If I ask you to put it in a particular shared drive or maybe if you and access, yeah. User ID password, like I mentioned. So, and if you do it in your own shared drive, like where you already have the user ID password, you can upload it there and then use a shareable link and send it to me. Correct. That can be another option. So now my point is, depending on the protocol, you need different connection parameters. Is it okay to say? So, depending on the protocol selected, you would need different connection parameters. Is it correct to say, like you all said, that if it's an email, you would need my email address? If it was WhatsApp, you would need the phone number. 
If it was a link, you would need the provider, maybe Google or Microsoft or Amazon something. And you would need the user ID and password. Correct. So, in a simple information exchange, I asked you for some information, and these are the three broad steps that we followed to exchange the information. Correct. Another parameter might be, not a step 4, I would say. An additional parameter can be, how often do we need to exchange this information? Isn't it? How often is it a one-time activity? Or do I need this information periodically? Maybe once a year. Maybe once in two years. Maybe daily. Right. Although the population of all those African countries and the capitals may not change daily. So I mean, even if it does, we may not have the ability to report on a daily basis on the population. The capitals do not change daily. So how often do we need to exchange this information? Right again. Who will be able to tell this? Or who decides this? How often do we need to exchange this information? Recipient Recipient and also the sender Like both of you agree Both the sender and the recipient agrees how often we need to exchange this information But this is again mainly driven by the recipient Right, I tell you If I am the recipient, I tell you Okay, I need this, maybe once in every six months. Correct. Correct, so this is a typical information exchange. Does it have anything to do with Workday or IT or anything? Software. Nothing. Right. Just a typical information exchange. But the broad three steps that we followed are data collection or source of data. Step two is transformation. It may be required. Okay, let's mark it as optional. Transformation is an optional step. And the third step is to send the data using a protocol to the recipient. Right. And we will also consider about some additional parameters, like, how often do we need to send this information? Right. This information exchange that happened is an integration. You are integrating some source of data with the recipient. Right. Now that the pipeline has been established, now that we know what data to exchange, at what frequency, what is the transformation, what is the protocol? If I ask you the same information again three months down the line, would you be able to give me that information very quickly? If you have already been in the pipeline, have you done it once? Yes. Right. You will be able to do it very easily because you know where is the source of data, what to do in the in case of transformation, and how to send the data to me. Maybe you already have my phone number or my email address right and you will be able to send it to me very easily because the pipeline has been set up. Right. If I want the information again, you will be able to send it to me again. So this is what an integration is all about. In modern IT systems, there are typically software applications for everything. 